Hello, friends, and welcome to episode 11 of Learning to Heal. So before going into this dungeon, I decided to kind of take a gander at my talents. You know, kind of read them a little bit more, see what I can figure out. So one of the talents that I chose is to fuse magic, which reduces magic damage you take by 60%. I decided to change it up and take a gander at how healing elixir would work for me throughout the dungeons, which drinking, it's an instant. And drinking a healing elixir heals you for 50% of your maximum health. It has two charges, and I'm kind of thinking maybe this might be a better alternative for maybe when I take some damage that I can just pop something really quick to drink, and I don't have to worry about casting anything on myself. We'll have to see how it goes. I think part of learning how to heal for at least a mist weaver or healing in general is to kind of just tinker around with the buttons and see what feels right for you. Well, without further ado, let me show you how terrible this dungeon ended up going for me this time around. It was a little bit embarrassing going into this dungeon and completely dying to one of the mechanics. I ended up getting flies all over me and I honestly didn't realize that I needed to jump in order to get them off of me. Now the reason I'm kind of beating myself up for this is because when I ran with my monk, not my monk, sorry, my mage through everything, she really needed gear from this dungeon. So I've actually ran it a lot and I guess I've lucked out and never got flies on me before because I felt really silly for the fact that I died and I let a whole gob of people in my um, dungeon group die as well. If anything, I think it goes without saying know the dungeon that you're going into at least you know read what's going on in maybe the dungeon journal or you know if you have a buff on you maybe hold your mouse over it for a second and see because that's when i realized like oh i'm a silly billy i should have been jumping which funny enough i ended up getting flies on me again and that's when i ended up reading what buff i had on me i'm like oh i felt super silly to be honest that i let something so rookie end up happening <sighs> Sorry, everyone that was in this dungeon with me. <sighs> better, I... I'll try better next time. <laughs> Luckily, though, they did not need me, and they ended up downing the boss without me. So, oof. I didn't wipe the group, but it was close. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the next boss fight. So this next boss fight is kind of a little bit annoying I, for a healer, and also for DPS, anybody in general, just because of the fact that this boss jumps from platform to platform or aisle to aisle, however you want to look at it. But for the most part, it actually went really smooth, and, you know, we got him down pretty quickly. I just made sure that I kept my detox, you know, getting the buff off of the tank, and then just keeping my enveloping mist and my other healing stuff, which I should probably know the name of, but you know, words are hard sometimes. <laughs> but before I knew it, this boss fight was over. We ended up pulling just a little bit of trash also while we were doing this, so it wasn't too bad. Everybody stayed healthy and happy and no flies on me this time around, so at least that was a good outcome for this dungeon that boss did he give me anything though power. not really <laughs> all right on to the next boss there really wasn't much going on with this boss fight i think the person that took the most damage was myself because you know i stand in stuff <laughs> i really need to work on my situational awareness you know and maybe not run in to loot the boss while there's a buff on the ground you know common sense things <laughs> This last boss fight really is one of those that as long as everybody just stands out of stuff, there's really not a lot to do. Just kind of, you know, ha over and done with. Well, this dungeon wasn't too bad. I definitely need to learn some lessons about dungeon mechanics though, though. Good grief. All in all, I'm getting to the point where I really got to stop being lazy about getting myself up to level 60 and geared because this stuff's kind of starting to be a little bit too easy in the regards of everybody knows what they're doing or I'm ending up in groups with people that are way over geared. So this will actually be the second to last video where I am below 60. I'm looking forward to running some mythics, but we'll see how that goes. 
Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one.